for a reason. Hey everybody, DDG Ryan here. Oh my god. <laughs> I love these ears. And that's one thing, of course. But hey everybody, DDG Ryan here. I told you guys that if I got good feedback on my last video, the five different types of students, I would make five different types of teachers. Now, your wish is my command. So, let's get to it. Wow. Teacher number one. Now, this is a teacher that always gives homework. No matter what day, if it's the weekend, Monday, Friday, it doesn't matter. He will give you a packet of homework. Wow. Okay. And for tonight, I'm going to need you to finish this packet by tomorrow. I need it fully finished. And I'm going to need you to read this book by tomorrow. Okay? Alright. And do a 10-page essay on why school is relevant and why homework is relevant. As a matter of fact, you have to make a presentation on why trees help nature. Teacher number two. Now this is the teacher who always says, the bell doesn't dismiss you, I dismiss you. Then why they make a bell? Like, tell me that. Tell me that because if they would waste like their pleasant money that, you know, they could be eating food with or paying their Netflix bill. Why would they make a bill? Mm. As a suggestion? Oh, yeah, you know. Ring, ring, like, uh, yeah, that was a bell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it rang. Yeah, it rang. But, you know, I'm not going to miss so because, you know, <laughs> I'm lonely in my life. And I need, you know, you guys to help me out. No. Oh. No, no, I got places to be, Netflix calling my name, food is delicious, and I'm going to go home, lay in my comfortable bed, and go eat it. <sighs> and so that is why today we cannot find Waldo. Um, where are you going? Uh-uh, uh-uh. The bell, it rang. Uh, no, no, the bell does not dismiss you. I dismiss you. Come on, sit back down. I'm getting my Lux Open glass, up your man. Open to page 72. <sighs> Trying to go to my next class. Teacher number three. Now this is a teacher who doesn't, like, no crap, like, mmm. One plus one is 87. Like, bruh. Well. <sighs> okay. Now, um. Now, as you can see, six times six is 31. Please write that down because I will be on the quiz. Um. Also, to find the area of the circle is 2 pi r. Well, actually, sir, 6 times 6 is 36, and how to find the area of a circle is pi r squared, sir. Oh. Well, I, I was just testing you. I was, I was just testing you to see if you would get that right. Because, you know, I knew that. I knew. Teacher number four. Now, this is a teacher who is lazy, like, who will wear a onesie to school, like, hmm. But, yeah. Um, so, students, just open your textbook to page 105, and then read till class is over. Yeah. Excuse me? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what this means. It should have details. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, uh, oh, okay. Okay. But, but I can't find it. Teacher number five, the thug. Now, this is a teacher who doesn't take crap from the student. 
if a student tries to talk back, they'll put them in their place real quick. I mean, like, this teacher will go zero to a hundred real quick. And students, July 4th, 1776 is when the Declaration of Independence was signed. Please write that in your notes. Devante, there is no eating in my class. Please put that away. Um, hold on. Joanne, can you find who is he talking to with that tone? I know you not talking with I know you not talking with me. I'm, this is my classroom. I come to school at 6 a.m. every morning to teach dumb students like you. <laughs> about stuff that you won't ever need to use in the real world. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there and you talking back to me. Yeah, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you to tell me who is he talking to, because I know for sure he ain't talking to me. I get paid this mediocre salary, and I don't need you talking to me like that. Put your food away. I don't come to school every morning to have you talking to me like that. Looking like hungry, hungry hippo over there. Fatality. Dang. Teacher number six. The cool teacher. Now this is a teacher who you can relate with, who's caught up with all the social media jokes, who's just an overall cool teacher. <sighs> Hello class, and today we will be learning about 1-800-HOTLINE-BLING. Because hey, I know what that hotline yeah, bling, that hotline bling, that can only mean one thing. And I know what that hotline bling. And I listened to this song about a week ago. About a week ago. And it really touched me. Hey, I know we Did it touch any of you? Why you always lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Now, why we are getting taught 1-800-HOTLINE-BLING is because I feel that it had a message. That it was really, you know, impactful. Teacher number seven, the life story teacher. Now this is a teacher who will tell their whole life story when it's not even relevant if some subject pops up that even remotely relates to their life story. They'll talk about it and go into major detail and like tell a whole essay about it. <sighs> now the French and Indian War. Well, I remember when I went to France, it was so peaceful and quiet and the men there. Ooh, the men there. Yes, I am married. What does that have to do with me talking about France? Take notes. I remember I went to go see the Eiffel Bro, Tower. we don't wanna hear this. All we wanna and do then, is learn. Me and my okay, friend, like picture there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me show you. Let, let me show you guys. Here. Yep, mm-hmm. It was just so amazing, and like, well, France, like the French and Indian War, like France is involved with the French and Indian War, so yeah, better take notes on that. Teacher number eight, now this is the teacher who is strict. If you murmur while she's talking, she will go ham on you, like, it's... I have one of these teachers, and it hurts my soul. <laughs> it hurts my future. No, I'm kidding. Um, but yeah. Did I just hear you sniffle? Finish him! Get out of my class. Go to the principal's office. Detention for a week. K. 
can't believe you. I'm trying to help you out in your education, but all you're doing is disrupting this class. We don't have time for your little sniffles. Class, write this down. I didn't write this just for a display. This isn't an art show. Write this down. Billy, what's the answer to this question? Y you can't tell me? You don't know? I taught this for five straight minutes, and you're telling me you can't tell me. Shalissa, what about you? Can you tell me what this is? God dang it! How come none of you can tell me what this is? It's not that hard. All it is, is x multiplied by 2x equals 49 over 2z, divided by 87.673, over 3xy squared equals 42, multiplied by 9 sevenths, multiplied by 9, 7 over 2, a, multiplied by 4 equals 97, and you're telling me none of you 5th graders can tell me what that means. It's not that hard. <sighs> now I have to go over it again. What you do is you solve teacher number nine. Now this is a teacher who is a pedophile who will stare at little kids and just... Uh, who's just like crazy and creepy who would look at little kids pervertedly uh, yeah. Hi class. And today, we'll be learning how to square variables and add them and multiply them. Becky, you were, I love that shirt. Oh, hell no! we're gonna do today is um I, I'm no I'm not creepy I'm just talking to you guys and helping you guys learn for your magnificent futures oh hell no Lauren you need time after class oh hell no, 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 no. I, I, I can see that you're struggling, so. Oh, hell no! I'll, I'll give you time after class. And so, last but not least, teacher number 10. Now, this is a teacher who is a sports teacher, or PE teacher, or was a sports teacher, or PE teacher, but they're not, they're not even teaching any athletic ability or physical ability. They're teaching like math or social studies and like still acting like a PE teacher. <sighs> oh, come on guys. I've seen my mom do better equations than that. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Come on. You trying to talk back to me? Drop down and give me 20 right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, you guys are weak. You can't do anything. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All you do around here is sit down and be lazy. Well, there's no laziness in my class. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All oh, your push-ups are weak. Sit down. Your class disappoint me. I hope you guys enjoyed this little skit. I have one little announcement. I will be going to Orlando on the 11th through 15th. If I don't pose my regular gameplay on Tuesday, I am very, very sorry for that. I, hopefully, I do, and I'm pretty sure I will be able to get this up on Thursday. But if I don't, I am very sorry. 
please subscribe so you can keep up with my other videos. Also, like, favorite, and share. Comment down below if you have any video suggestions. As always, this is DDG Ryan saying stay chill, stay fresh, and I'll see you next time.